Hello all and welcome to All The Art. I am Lindsay and welcome to my little area of YouTube. If you are on Instagram, you can see me there and follow my projects. Sometimes I've not been great at posting lately, but you can find me on Instagram uh, under All The Yarn and on Ravelry under All The Yarn Dash. And uh, yeah, well, <laughs> it's been a month. <laughs> it's been a month. Um, my month has been crazy and it was mostly spent with a loved one in the hospital. So on one hand, I have some FOs, but I also have some other announcements towards the end. So you may want to stick around for the whole episode or at least check out like the last couple of minutes. Okay, <clears throat> that being said, I finished my threshold and I'm going to say finish lightly because I'm curious to see what's going to happen when I block it. Nothing's been blocked. Y'all like I've had a month. Okay. <laughs> so on the one hand, I got a lot of knitting done. On the other hand, I have not done hardly anything like besides just taking care of loved ones and, and knitting. So this is threshold. Threshold has been sitting around for a while as I try and figure out what the heck I'm going to do. Now, what I did do was I was starting to bind this off, if you remember, which I could not remember because this has been sitting around for months and months and months. But I had started binding this off and it was curling real bad. Oh, look, it still is. I went down three needle sizes. Do you hear that? Yeah. Pattern calls for just using the same needle size. I went down three. Three needle sizes. And it's still kind of curling, but it's not flaring like it was. Like the bottom is still flaring. And I, I'm gonna see what blocking does. So I redid all of the, the ribbing here in a needle that was three sizes too small. Oh, it's a kind of appropriate that we're doing this because that's the size of the Grinch's heart. And I'm gonna block the crap out of it, see what happens. If I cannot get this curling fixed, I don't even know. I don't even know. But maybe it'll just be a house, uh, like a sweater I wear around the house. But I am done. It is, like the knitting is done. I'm gonna block the crap out of it. And I will post an update on, did that fix it? Now, blocking fixes lots of things. But we'll see. So threshold is an Alicia Plummer pattern. I did the whole pattern because I love this spine that goes down the back. And I used deep, deep stash. This is a Mineville Wool DK in Field Mouse. And I, it'll probably show up on camera, maybe, eh, kinda. Um, obviously, I, I tried to stripe the colors as much as possible because there's definitely a change between the top and the bottom and you can kind of see it on camera it's it almost looks like a bit of a fade which means i did some seriously awesome blending um <laughs> just saying i'm gonna toot toot my horn uh yeah so threshold alicia Plummer. i like the pattern but where it says you only need one needle for the whole thing here's the things i'd be doing different one just, I, you know what? These are fancy schmancy little cuffs. I don't need that. I'm just going to go down two or three sizes. Give me some ribbing. Same thing with the bottom edge. Now, granted, part of this is my fault because I was playing some yarn chicken and I didn't think I had enough for two inches, which I didn't do two inches. So I did like an inch and a half. Again, go down two or three needle sizes and just do some ribbing because that whole use the same needle size as what you did up here and it's it's going to be fine. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, same thing with use the same needle size for this jazz. Nope, nope. So basically on places like the this, the collar band, the cuffs, the garter or the band at the bottom, I'd go down needle sizes and just do ribbing. That's what I would do differently if I were to do it again. I'm curious to see what this ends up looking like because I'm really sad that it's not exactly what I wanted. Not sad enough to rip out the whole thing and start over. Not that sad at all. 
But sad enough that maybe I'll try again with like a different color. And maybe I have kind of thought that I, I wish I would have made it a little bit longer. So I don't hate the pattern, but there's some things I'd be doing differently. Anyway, whoosh, it is in the pile of things to be blocked, which there, there is a whole pile. Let me show you the next thing. This is also an Alicia Plummer um, pattern called Uncomplicated. And it's just very basic, very basic V-neck. Now the pattern calls for a pocket, which, nope. Y'all, when I was doing like hospital knitting, I didn't need any, I did not need my brain to work. I just wanted to knit, which is what I did. So I kept it very, very simple. Um, this pattern called for a very long arm with like the rolled hem on the sleeve. I don't like rolled hems. Basic. Theme of this <laughs> podcast or this episode is just I'm basic, okay? So I just did a very basic ribbed cuff. Same thing with the bottom. It's supposed to be a rolled hem. No, just basic, okay? We're keeping it basic. So this is Alicia Plummer's Uncomplicated, and I made it as uncomplicated as possible. I skipped the rolled stuff, and I skipped the pocket. This is a dream in color. Oh, that's not the front. Here we go. <laughs> Dream in color, um, colossal. I have no idea what the the colorway is, but it'll be in the note. I keep thinking it's aqua jet, but now I'm starting to think that that's wrong. I mean, it's it's a teal. It's is is basic teal. Okay, basic teal for a basic sweater pattern. <laughs> but I did like the tonal. I did not like. I did not helical knit or, I mean, when one thing was done, I just started the next thing, which you're asking for problems when you do that with hand-dyed yarn. I know that, but it, it worked out this time. Heavens aligned. Anyway, so I need to weave in my ends and it also needs to be blocked, but it's off the needles. Oh, wait. Remember, I don't know if you know, but I was thinking I was playing yarn chicken. What? That's not yarn chicken. That plenty of yarn. So maybe that's because I didn't do the pocket. Maybe it's because I did the ribbed um, thingabobs instead of taking it longer so it could roll. I don't know, but I was not out of yarn in any way. I don't know if the same thing I don't know if the same thing could be said <laughs> for that threshold. I Okay, is basic and yarn chicken. We got two themes going on because that threshold, the reason why I didn't do a longer hem at the bottom like I was supposed to, and maybe that would have made it not curl, but I'm not, I'm not convinced. This is how much I had left. I keep thinking that when I block the threshold, if the bottom still like wants to curl up, Maybe I'll use this and try to crochet a couple of rounds to try and make it tighter to put some weight on the bottom. But like, we're not doing a lot because this is all that I have left. Versus, I got quite a bit of this left. So, threshold was getting kind of close. Uncomplicated, dude. So those colossal skeins are massive and I basically have like, three quarters of a normal skein left. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, three, three FOs, guys. Kind of, because they're not blocked, nor are the ends woven in. But we're not being particular here, okay? A win is a win, and I need some wins right now. All right. <laughs> so this is my forest land. And... She's done, guys. Look at that. Forest Land is a Jennifer Steingast pattern. I don't know where she is. I hope she is well. I miss, <coughs> excuse me. I miss like how she used to have like many patterns come out every year. 
and that has not been the case now for a couple of years and i think someone said something about she has some health issues so wherever you are jennifer steingast just i wish you well um your patterns are amazing and they will they continue to uh sound your praises because this is another one absolutely love it oh this is you know okay if you are like watching episode after episode I am so sorry, but yes, this is what the same sweater I was wearing on my last episode. Um, I don't wear it every day. I've not actually worn it since that episode, but I didn't know that until I already had it on and I was doing show notes before I recorded. And I thought, man, I'm not changing just because I happened to wear this sweater a month ago. So I don't always do that, but I think you'll sometimes see, <laughs> if you watch like a whole bunch of row, there'll be several times where, Oh, she's wearing the same shirt like two or three episodes in a row. Anyway, so it's happened again. All right. I, woo, we're all over the place. Okay. This yarn is my yarn. You can't buy it. Sorry, because it's DK and I don't have a DK base in my shop. The Speckles was a special collab I did for the Sauter's Village February Fiber Retreat. And then this was a colorway that was very custom and when i say custom it was fun it was like oh let's do a little bit of this oh let's do a little bit of this and this is what came out which was the exact color i was shooting for <sighs> she's done i'm so excited and what's awesome is at the next february Sauters retreat there's like a whole bunch of people and i'm like by a whole bunch i'm gonna say like six or seven which to me is a whole bunch of people to get on board to knit the exact same sweater like that's crazy Yes, so if you happen to go to the February Sauters Retreat, which I think registration is opening up in December, um, so any minute now, but uh, yeah, you'll get to see this as well as hopefully all the other ones will be finished as well, so I'm very excited. Or they'll get finished that weekend or you know, it's, it's fine. Nobody's, there's no prizes. And um, what's great about a retreat is if you don't get it done, nobody really cares. <laughs> We're like, that's okay, you know, it's fine. Okay, so this also, I think, there, there's my dead giveaway there at the end. Um, this also has not, has not been, um, ends not woven in, it's not been blocked. Let me show you what I got left, because I was saying how I was playing yarn chicken, and um, on my previous episode, I think, maybe it was two episodes ago, somebody said, hey, you know, you could always just do like a detail at the bottom or something with that contrast color. And I thought the same thing. Um, I thought that's a great plan, you know, great tip. I, I really appreciate it. By the time I was finishing that sweater, my left one was in the hospital and I could not, could not. Like, I can't think how to modify unless the modification is easier than what the pattern calls for. Like, I cannot. So, this is what I have left. <laughs> Look at that. Like, that is some yarn chicken. Whew. And then I have a lot of this left. So, I'm thinking it would be fun to make, like, an accessory. I have to weigh this yet to see how much I have. But I'm thinking, like, fingerless mitts. Because I'm a big fingerless mitts person. I feel like anybody that works on the computer a lot... If you're not a big fingerless mitts pad or a person, you should be. Because like what's great about fingerless mitts is that your hands stay warm, but you can still type. It is not like like gloves where then you can't like push the keys correctly or anything. So I'm a big fingerless mitts person. I made some for all the ladies. Um, not that they would have to be ladies, but I work with ladies in the office and I made them some for all of them. One of them, their dog got to them. And she's like, I'd really like you to make me some more. And I'm thinking, if you're not going to keep these away from your dog, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad, but I'm going to make them again. <laughs> but that's okay. They do all have shawls. And they're very, very good at keeping, like, the shawls, like, protected. And um, it's kind of fun because I get to see shawls that I've made, like, on random people throughout the office as they're walking through the hall. So that's nice. But I digress. Anyway. Beep. This is all I have left of my super special blue colorway that I made. And then I have quite a bit left of this. So I think I've got enough for an accessory. I just got to figure out what I'm going to make with this. I have no deadline for that. No timeline, no anything. But 
I really like this yarn. And what was both fun and an, I'm gonna say annoying about using this as the contrast color is how many times the, the pops of color were on a float and not part of the, the design, the motif. And so I really want to do something with this where I get to see the pops of color like stand out. So we'll see what happens, but I'm sure I've got enough for something. And I know um, a couple of the other people that were making that sweater using this as their um, contrast color, they had extra left over too. And they're like, hey, if you need some, let us know. And so I might pull, I might take them up on that offer. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, if you're, you're one of those people, and you're like, oh, hey, I'll just give it to her. You don't have to. It's okay. Like, let me let me focus on everything else first. <laughs> I love how sometimes you say that and like yarn just like shows up. <laughs> Aren't fiber friends the best? Oh my gosh. Okay, I have one FO that I started. And this was, this was not the right FO to start but I had run home from the hospital to, um, I, was, I was finishing these sweaters and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm out of things to do. What am I gonna do? So I picked what I thought was gonna be a fairly like okay pattern and I grabbed some stash yarn and I cast on a sweater. Guys, <laughs> look, look at the, freaking detailing and cable on this like it's gorgeous don't get me wrong but this is not garter or stockinette knitting I don't I don't know if it was good because it distracted me from other things I'm not gonna say I was ever annoyed so maybe we'll go with that but it was not what I was thinking I was getting into like color work knitting is very calming to me even when i'm in the color work piece like i just i love that i like as you go down the different um rows like all of a sudden the the design starts to form i'm really enjoying that so somehow i thought that this yoked sweater that is more of a cable knit was gonna give me that same rush of good feelings okay that's not happening i'm not getting the rush of good feelings but I'm also not annoyed or frustrated. So, I mean, that's okay, right? It's a great pattern. I'm just talking, and, and don't get me wrong, this is unwind, I believe this is unwind knit designs. Um, I'll clarify that in the show notes. The pattern, the pattern is evolving. And, oh, I got the, the yarn right here. The yarn is um, Dreaming Color Colossal Socks, and it is the colorway is Rabbit Ears. So it's, I don't know, if, well, you can kind of tell. It's just got this really crazy, like just a hint of color. There is just a hint of like a bluey, sagey something or other. And then a little bit of gray. It's just, just a just just a kiss of it. And I really actually like how it shows up. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see it here. Like it's just like it's it shows up as just a little bit of a shadow here. Oh, that's inside out. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Shows up as just like a little, like there's a little bit of a shadow going across here. I mean it it adds just a little bit of movement. It doesn't in any way distract from the cabling or anything, which is nice. Like it's very, very subtle. I'm very interested to see what that looks like in stockinette when I get to the body and the sleeves. I think it'll be nice because it's not going to be a plain color, but it, it's going to be extremely subtle. So I don't remember the, the, the woman's name, but I do know like her Instagram is like unwind knit design or something like that and I'll I'll put her name and her um her design company name and all that in the notes below but the the yarn is dreaming color the colossal sock that is exclusive to simply socks which is a really good deal by the way that's why I knit a lot with it um and that this is rabbit ears just a real soft subtle colorway 
that obviously looks very good in a cable, does not distract from the cable. If you did a solid, the cable would stand out a little bit more. Um, and that's fine too. But I, I like, I kind of like that softer movement. I think I'm going to like it even more when it's on the stockinette. Okay. So, uh, that's, well, I also add, oh, it's right here. Just three seconds. Ooh. Okay, I did one other thing. Since I'm here, we're talking about it. The other thing I did, I've not broken this out for a long time. Um, this was all the headspace I had, or this was the only thing I had headspace for, for a while. Okay. I just added, oh my gosh, see if I can remember now. Um, let's see. I think I did this square, this square, this one, and this one. Whoops, whoopsie daisies. I did this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. So just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I added 10 squares to this. I would have kept going, but then I realized. <laughs> okay, do you recall? Two seconds ago, I said, I have not pulled this out for a long time. I've not done a lot. Well, I realized somewhere around my ninth or 10th square, that my squares that I, I was doing were just a little bit bigger, just a little bit looser than my previous squares. So I thought rather than going on, um, I will stop on this until I can go down one needle size and see if that makes all the difference. So I absolutely believe at some point I probably borrowed a needle and like didn't return it. And then I just guessed at what needle size I was using. That sounds like me. Totally, totally sounds like me. So I'm going to try and go down a needle size before I, uh, and then I think I'm going to do one square just to see if that, I mean, it's, it's not a big difference. It could just be, I'm a looser knitter now than when I started this, cause I started this a long time ago. Um, but it's, it's like, it's enough that I see it. And I think only like experienced knitters are gonna see it, <laughs> but it's there. So it could just be a gauge change. Maybe it is the right needle, but I mean, my, my gauge is different. So I wanna try going down just a little bit of a needle size and see if that makes the difference to bringing the squares back to where they were. Um, I will say that I, I lovingly call this my 50 years blanket because I have no intention of finishing this. I have this blanket specifically for the times that I just went through where I have I have no mental capacity for anything and yet I need to do something. And so this is great for that. I just pull it out. I have scrap yarn already with it and just go. And it doesn't matter what colors I'm picking up. I don't care if, well, now you've got like, you know, four things of orange really close together. That's okay can't do this wrong because the whole point of this blanket is not the finished project. The whole point of this blanket is I have knitting that I can go to when I can't even think what knitting I want to grab. You know, it's just, it's sometimes like things are fine. Sometimes I just, you know, I finish a project. I don't know what other project I want to do. I haven't cast anything on. I don't want to work on anything that I've been doing. I just grab this and do, it's like maybe I use it as a palette cleanse, you know? So this is my 50 years blanket and it gets pulled out whenever it does. I just add some squares to it. So yeah, I did add 10 squares, a lot of knitting time this uh, last month. Some, a lot of unexpected knitting time. Uh, that being said, <laughs> this is the part where I told you guys, hang on to the end. Okay, so I apologize, it took me a little longer to get here than I thought it was going to be. Um, I have 
a lot more family demands on me coming out of this last month than what I previously had. And I need to clear my plate off a little bit. And so that being said, um, I know I've never talked a whole bunch about linden wool on this, um, on this channel because I kind of got tired of other, like every time I'd listen to like a podcast or a YouTube episode, you know, yarny or crafty kind of episode or whatever, it was always all about, oh, here's our enabling, you know, here's this, here's this, and I'm, it's fine, it's fine. But um, I got tired <laughs> that there was always that going on. I didn't want to be enabled. So I thought, well, I'll do this and not bring that up, you know. I'm going to break, I'm going to break that rule one time because guys, I, I've got to say goodbye to Linden Wool. So since you're watching this, uh, I'm going to give you guys a heads up on a 30% off code to my Etsy shop. The code is family, F-A-M-I-I, F-A-M-I-L-Y, <laughs> and that'll get you 30% off anything in the shop. This is the majority of the shop. I've been slowly bringing it down. Um, at one point I had a lot more than this, but I've been slowly bringing down my inventory anyway. And uh, it is it is time to be done. So now through the end of December 31st, 2023, if you use the code FAMILY, you can get 30% off in my Etsy, show, in my Etsy store. Um, I'm, I'm thinking right now the plan is to just close it down January 1st and be done. Um, I don't know, then knit my own yarn. Who knows? Hopefully there won't be a ton left, but if there is, that's okay. It's not like my stash can't absorb it, right? <laughs> so anyway, um, God, I hope that wasn't inappropriate. Was that inappropriate? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so Linden Wool is going to go goodbye um, at the end of the year. And for my YouTube people, you guys get uh, first dibs at the the coupon code, I will eventually post it on my Instagram. So if there's something you want, you want first dibs, grab it now before I post it on Instagram and then other people like find out that there's a 30% off coupon code. Okay guys, that being said, it has been a month. I am glad to be home. I am glad that my family member is healthier, um, but they still kind of have a process to go through and I am going to be there with them for that journey. So. That being said, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I apologize if I should have edited this video, but I didn't. I'm just gonna one shot and pop it up. So you guys all take care. Have wonderful holidays and stay safe. And uh, I hope you guys all have um, a great month. Talk to you later. Bye.